What is up guys? Welcome to a quick overview of the Avid Fast Track Duo now. Um, I know on this channel I usually do product overviews that are more oriented towards PC gaming or if it is audio related it's more for like commentary stuff um, over videos or just voice work but today we're going to talk about a product that's more geared for the musicians out there so um, this would work great for somebody that's doing voiceover work, but it's a bit of uh, overkill, really. Um, and you can probably get cheaper solutions that uh, do basically the same thing if you're not using Pro Tools or any software of that nature. So I will mention real quick, I bought the Fast Track Solo, um, but it didn't come with an iLock key. Uh, I'll get into the iLock here in a second, but uh, it wasn't in the package, like from the factory. So Amazon refunded that order and I sent it back and they overnighted me the duo uh, the next day which is awesome all paid for so they upgraded me and overnighted the upgrade to me um, in like within 24 hours I was up and running so can't say enough about Amazon customer service that's why I use them so much anytime I've ever had a problem they've come back and like giving me rewards for any mistake on their end. So anyway, the solo version is the single channel version and there's a few features that I'll get into here in a second that aren't in the solo version. And I think the duo version for, I think it's only $20 more right now is the best option. So even if you only needed the one channel, I would probably go with the duo just because of a few things that uh, it comes with. So enough about the box, let's get into what it comes with. So it comes with a USB cable, obviously, comes with a copy of Pro Tools and a registration a how to guide. Don't really need that. Comes with an iLock key, like I mentioned. This is um, the anti piracy that Avid uses or Digidesign as it was previously used the same um, iLock keys. Basically, you download the software and uh, you get a registration key. You put it on this USB stick, and there you go. Now you have this basically to carry around with you, and you can use your software wherever you go, and like whatever computer you go on. And uh, think of it just like the keys to a car, basically. Uh, simple way to think of it. I remember back in the day, in the last, back of the day, it's like five years ago, the last studio I worked at, um, we had a bunch of like Waves plugins, if you're familiar with that, and, like some auto-tuning software and voice correction, all kinds of software. And each piece of software used to come with their separate iLock. I had a USB or two USB hubs, sorry, with like six iLocks coming out of the back of my computer at that studio. It's ridiculous, but luckily now you can store multiple keys on one iLock. Before like everything shipped with their own iLock, it was a pain in the butt. Uh, another thing it comes with is a cable that I haven't used yet because I don't actually own an iPad, but you can plug this into an iPad, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I think it's like a stripped down, even more stripped down version of Pro Tools, but you can still do like tracking and stuff. Um, I believe Amplitude, correct me if I'm wrong, it's it's one of those guitar um, amp softwares you can also use like on your iPad, but it's pretty cool that Pro Tools is now implemented with that. Uh, keep in mind you will have to have USB power still, so this won't power your, uh, your fast track, you still have to have the USB plugged in. And that's all fine and dandy. Um, one thing I will mention, I guess, is I used to, or I still use, this uh, Digidesign Inbox Mini. Uh, this is on my main gaming PC. This is what I use for just like my microphone and my outputs. Uh, it has two inputs. It has a, um, a mixer, so you can have direct input or the playback from your computer. It has a monitor mute, which is really handy. It has XLR and quarter inch DIs and two quarter inch outputs. It's really pretty nice for what it is, but this is dated. I think I got Pro Tools 7 with this, and they're on Pro Tools 11. I think was the last like numbered Pro Tools. Now I think they're just calling it Pro Tools HD and Pro Tools Native, Pro Tools Express. I don't know how they... <laughs> I, I've been out of the loop, like I said, for a while. But this is the Fast Track Duo. It is two channels, and it has two preamps, obviously. It has headphones and it has a output like your speaker output on separate channels which the um the the solo did not have uh which i found to be quite kind of cheap to be honest um two individual knobs like this is really handy especially when you're switching between you know tracking and then listening back and tracking and listening back i swap between my monitors and headphones all the time so having the independent uh control over those is really nice uh, it also has the direct in where the, Im or the inbox mini had the actual knob where you could 
get more of the uh, direct signal or more of the process signal. This one just has on or off, so it's processed or not processed, basically. Sorry, bumped the camera there a little bit. Um, it has a lock on it if you're using it in a public area, I guess. Uh, it does have phantom power. That's the tablet output, USB, obviously, and it has um, quarter-inch outputs. The Solo had RCA outputs, which was really strange to me as well. I don't know. Quarter inch and XLR are just standards for professional audio anyway. RCA has kind of been out of the game for a while. I don't know why they've reverted back to that. Anyway, um, it also has inputs on the back, which uh, do correlate with these inputs here. So you can switch between the front or the back inputs. It's kind of one extra feature that's pretty cool. Also, the Solo did not have that. So that's a pretty good overview, I think, of all the features that come on the Fast Track Duo. Um, like I said, I would get the Duo if you're uh, kind of in between the Solo or the Duo. I would spend the extra $20 or whatever it is right now and grab it. So anyways, guys, I think that's about going to cover everything. Um, if you guys are curious about uh, the iLock, I saw a lot of people having trouble figuring out how to use iLocks and whatnot. Um, I've been using iLocks, like I mentioned, for years and years. I just know what to expect when it comes down to uh, DRM and Pro Tools and all that. So it wasn't very complicated for me to get set up just because I already have iLock accounts and Pro Tools accounts and all that kind of stuff. But for people that are just getting into the audio game, Pro Tools is a little scary at first. I understand that, but um, if you have any questions about that kind of stuff, feel free to leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. But uh, don't be too scared away by all the codes and numbers and things you have to put in. Once you get it up and running, it's really not that hard. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first look at the Avid Fast Track Duo. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing these kind of more music related videos. I honestly thought about doing a second channel and just doing music related stuff, like doing all the audio video stuff and tech stuff on that channel and then coming back and doing like gameplay stuff on this channel. Something that I'm kind of thinking about, but uh, I'll let you know in the future. Um, it's just, I've spent a lot of time around audio equipment, and for me not to share the information, I feel like uh, it's kind of dumb, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you later.